Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging exponential equation from Math Olympiads. Equation is 8 power 2x plus 4 plus 4 power 3x plus 6 plus 2 power 4x plus 10 equal to 6. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started this video by writing two most powerful property of exponent. Property number one, which we will begin with, that is a power b plus c. It is equal to a power b times a power c. Property number two, a power b whole power c. It is equal to a power b c or a power c power b. Swapping in the power. Now let us solve this equation with property number 1 first. So you can see there is summation in the exponents. So I will split the powers. So I can write our equation as 8 power 2x times 8 power 4 plus 4 power 3x times 4 power 6 plus 2 power 4x times 2 power 10 and RHS is 6. Now I will consider exponents separately. See 4 power 6 it is written, 2 power 10 it is written. Let me write here 4 power 6. We can write 4 power 6 as 4 as 2 square and then whole power is 6. Done. Now using property number 2, we can take the product in the exponents. So I can write this is equal to 2 power 12. Now I can see the factorization of 12 as 3 times 4. So now I will consider like 2 power 3 it is and then whole power is 4. So ultimately this is becoming 8 power 4. That means instead of writing 4 power 6, we can consider this term as 8 power 4. Now I will split 2 power 10 as 2 power 4 times 2 power 6 property number 1. So let me write here, see what will happen after that. So I will write our equation as 8 power 2x times 8 power 4 unchanged plus 4 power 3x. 4 power 6 we will write 8 power 4. Now plus 2 power 4x as it is and 2 power 10 we can think about 2 power 6 times 2 power 4 and right hand side is 6. So our equation transformed into much simpler form. Now if you will see it is involved 4 power 3 8 is square term. So I can again use the property number 2. 8 power 2x is nothing but we can write it is 8 is square whole power x. Full power is x times 8 power 4 plus same way here I will write 4 cube whole power is x 8 power 4 plus 2 power 4x then I will be writing 2 power 6 is 64 2 power 4 is 16 right hand side is 6. Now you can see 8 square is 64 and 4 cube both values are 64. So these two terms will be identical. So I will be writing 64 power x 8 power 4. Let me write here. 64 power x times 8 power 4 plus 64 power x 8 power 4 plus it was 2 power 4 x times 16 times 64 equal to 6. Now you can see first two terms are identical. x plus x is 2x. So I can write here 2 times 64 power x or better is to write 2 power 8 power 4 then 64 power x. Second term is I will write same way 2 power 4 it is and whole power is x times 16 times 64 equal to 6. Now you can see equation is divisible by 2. So let's divide. So I will write 
8 power 4 times 64 power x. Let me write here divide by 2 plus this is what 16 power x. Then 16 by 2. So I can write 8 times 64 equal to 6 by 2 is 3. Now you can see 8 power 4 times 64 power x, 16 power x. So better is to use substitution. Now I will write substitution 4 power x. Let 4 power x is equal to suppose a. So taking a square both sides, I can write 16 power x equal to a square. Taking q both sides of this equation. So I can write 64 power x will be equal to a cube. So this is after cube and this is after square. So we can replace this portion, this 64 by x, 64 power x a cube and 16 power x I will replace with a square. So our equation will become, I will write equation as 8 power 4 times a cube plus a square is there. So let me write in this manner 8 times 64 times a square equal to 3. Now 64 is 8 square. So here I can write it is 8 cube. 8 square times 8. So ultimately this is converting into one symmetrical equation 8 power 4 a cube plus 8 cube a square equal to 3. 4, 3, 3, 2 equal to 3. Equal to 3. Now I can see if I will write like this. 8 times it is 8 cube a cube plus 8 times it is 8 square a square equal to 3. Now one thing is obvious we can write this as 8 a whole cube. Here we can write it is 8 times 8 a whole square equal to 3. Remember our substitutions are there. Now again it is substitution time. So in place of 8 a I will be writing y. So let us consider 8a equal to y. Now if you remember what was a, 4 power x was our a. This was our first substitution and this is our second substitution. So our equation will become 8 times 8a is y, so y cube plus 8 times y square minus 3 equal to 0. Now this is factorization time. If you will see the constant term it is 3. I will solve this cubic equation using synthetic division method. So I am trying to figure it out how many factors are eligible for our solutions. So constant term is 3. I can write it is plus minus 1 and plus minus 3. Now come to the leading coefficient. There will be list plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4 and plus minus 8. Now we have to take the ratio of constant to leading coefficient. So we will be having 8 combination if I am not wrong. So it will be plus minus 1 comma plus minus 1 over 2 plus minus 1 over 4 plus minus 1 over 8 with respect to plus 1 is over. Now with respect to plus 3 I will be writing plus minus 3 plus minus 3 over 2 plus minus 3 over 4 plus minus 3 over 8. Out of these 16 combination will have our answer or solution of this cubic equation. So what I will do now, let us put y equal to 1, the first option, first choice. Here it is. Is it satisfying? So 8 plus 8 minus 3, no, it is not y equal to minus 1, minus 8 plus 8 minus 3, 
again it is not y equal to half the third choice plus half okay let us see 8 times half cube so it will be 8 in the denominator plus 8 times half square so 4 will be in the denominator minus 3 so it is cancelling numbers here i will be writing 2 so 1 plus 2 yes it is satisfying equal to 0 so that means y equal to half is our base solution for this cubic equation now i can use synthetic division to find out remaining two solutions of this cubic equation so let us use synthetic division method so i will be writing 8y cube plus 8y square minus 3 equal to 0 and our base solution is y equal to half let me write all the coefficients of this cubic equation for sdm so 8 8 0 y is not there minus 3 leading term as it is 8 now we will multiply each number by this base solution y equal to half half times 8 4 12 half times 12 6 6 half times 6 3 0 so these are our coefficient for quadratic equation in y 8y square plus 12y plus 6 equal to 0 now i will only check whether there is any real solution or not so let's check discriminant only delta delta will be equal to b square minus 4 times ac so b square is 144 this value is 192 32 times 6 so if you will check 42 plus 6 minus 48 is coming out complex solution so we will reject this solution rejected so which solution is accepted y equal to half so what is y let me write here y equal to half y was our substitution it was 8a equal to y so in place of y we can write 8a equal to half or we can write a equal to 1 by 16 divide both sides by 8 now our first substitution was 4 power x is equal to a so in this place i will write 4 power x is equal to 1 by 16 which is equal to 1 by 4 square take power in the numerator so i will write 4 power minus 2 left hand side is 4 power x so our final solution becomes x is equal to negative 2 where we will verify let us verify here so i will write here check 8 power 2x plus 4 x is minus 2 i am talking about this original equation so how it will be I will put x is equal to minus 2. So let us put, I will write our equation 8 power minus 4 plus 4. So 0. Okay. Second term, 4 power minus 6 plus 6. So 4 power also 0 plus 2 power minus 8 plus 10. So 2 power 2. This is our LHS. Now 8 power 0 is 1. 4 power 0 is 1. 2 power 2 is 4, left hand side is 6, which is equal to right hand side. That means our solution x is equal to minus 2 is true solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye bye.